I do a split where I do a five day split. My, my training program is this. Uh, I'll go in there day one and I'll do chest. And then I'll go back, and then I'll go shoulders, and I'll go arms, and I'll go legs. So if you look at that in a little more in depth, chest is a push, back's a pull, shoulders a push, thighs mainly is a pull, and then chest, I mean legs is you know outside of the mix. So I'm doing a push pull, push pull. So I'm resting just the activity in itself because one's pulling, one's pushing. So I do one body part a day, and I exhaust it, man. I, I I go in there first and I do the mass build, you know. And I rip the big muscles off. And then I shred up the smaller ones. At the very end, I do shaper lifts, high reps and stuff like that, abs at the end of every, every workout. So the entire targeted muscle group is just really smoked. Then I give it a 48-hour period. I don't revisit that again until secondarily with shoulders. But the next time I hit chest, this is Monday chest, Tuesday back, Wednesday shoulders, Thursday arms, Friday legs. I don't take a day off. I go right back Saturday being chest. So it's one, two, three, four, four full days of rest before I hit this chest again. Even though I, I, I do hit a little bit with shoulders and a little bit with tries. So that's, that's done me very well. And it's one body part a day. Um, you always want to change the workouts up and everything else. But I've been on this program for a good couple of years now. Um, I'm just changing up the workout within the workout. My one meal a day, guys, is only one chewable solid food meal a day. It's only one meal a day that way. There's only one portion of the day when my body's energy is spent digesting food. That's not to say that I don't bring in nutrition throughout the day. I just eat one meal a day, okay? That's, that's my lawnmower approach to dieting, meaning when I go to cut my lawn, you know, my lawnmower is in my garage. I just grab the motherfucker, turn it on, and start cutting the lawn. I don't check the gas in there. I just start cutting it. You know, and when it runs out, that's when I know I need more gas. So I go to the shed, grab some gas, fill it back up, and continue my process of, my, of cutting the grass. I wake up in the morning, I go to the gym, I'm hitting meetings or whatever, auditions, whatever I have to do. And all of a sudden, I run out of gas throughout the day, and my body's like, yo, we're, we're, we're out, man, we're on fumes, we need, fu we need food. That's when I pull into the shed and get some food. I had that one big meal a day, that's all I have. The caloric intake of that is probably equivalent to two to three meals, but it's one sitting, one helping, boom. One time my body's gonna be really digesting all this energy, you know, all this energy and digesting that food. And that comes between like the two and the six o'clock hour of the day. It's in the middle of the day, guys. You know, you know, I get up, you know, six in the morning, I go to sleep around like midnight or so. You know, so it's in the middle of that. So there's still time left in the day to burn off any excess calories, any excess carbohydrates before I go to bed. The low no diet is not a sum difference. It's, it, it, it's not how much is coming in, I add everything up. No, it's the remaining balance, the low no diet. And I'm very hesitant to tell you guys this because I don't want you guys to use this in the wrong way because it takes a level of responsibility to understand what I'm saying here. It's not just some you know, blind mathematician doing this. Oh, he says he eats this many carbohydrates, so I'm gonna eat the same amount of carbohydrates, okay, the same amount of protein, the same amount of fats, and then um, you know, I'll just go to the gym. No, everything's alive, everything's perishable. What I eat is related to what I'm doing, my activity level. You know, so, when I'm, I'm getting off track here. So when I'm saying that low no, it's the remaining balance, meaning I have multiple carbs throughout the day, okay? I have simple sugars, I have simple carbs, I have complex carbs. You know, I have all those things. I have fats, I have proteins. The low no diet is that when my head hits the fucking pillow at night, there is zero carbs remaining in my body, or a very little bit. That's the low no diet. And when I tell you that, it doesn't mean that you just throw in carbs. You must marry the carbohydrates, the fast energy, to the activities. Meaning, if I am going to the gym in the morning, I bookend my workouts with nutrition. My pre-workout meal is vital, but not as vital as my post-workout meal. Those meals I'm talking about are not meals that are gonna eat up energy of the body to digest. They are all liquid. I have one meal a day that's solid food. The rest of it's all liquid nutrition. Why liquid? Because very minimal digestion time at all. It's already broken down, it's easily passed to the body, right? So I'm not using up all that energy to digest it. I'm still getting the nutritional content I need, but I'm getting it very fast. And why do I want it fast? 
because it's a marriage, a basic principle of supply versus demand in order to grow the body. You go to the gym, you create the demand. There's healthy micro tears of the body, that pump you get and everything else. You haven't grown shit. All you've done is weaken yourself at that given point. Weaken your physical self that way. And if you don't do anything with the rest of the nutrition at that point, you will be weaker if you go to do it again. That process right there of weakening yourself creates the demand for your body for a need to grow. But it can't grow on its own. It has to grow with rest and nutrition. But oh, by the way, we'll go on liquid nutrition right after it in that 45 minute window. Liquid. So it's easily dissolved, easily gets there right, right when your body needs it, that call to action is delivered. Exactly what your body needs, when it needs it. Marrying the supply versus demand to win the nutritional war. On the days I have a day off or whatever, I'm traveling or something, I'm very careful on what I eat. Very careful. That's probably when it's a legit low no diet where very minimal carbs are going in. Because I don't have a reason to use them, so therefore I don't put the surfboard on the car. Because I'm not going to the beach. But if I am going to the beach, and going to the gym, and going skydiving, and doing construction, all in a, I got a busy day, I got a 20 hour day ahead of me. More food coming in of nutritional value. I keep it all liquid, man, as much as I can. Except for that one big meal. And why? Well, why not just keep that, though, you know, just, just a liquid too? You know, why not? I think you could. I really think you could. But, you know, then it comes down to time management. You know, I don't have a lot of time to sit here and prep and make, make meals either. You know, imagine all the time it takes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Not just to make it, but then to eat it, and then to clean up after yourself. Imagine taking all that time and just <sighs> drop into a shake. Shake it and go. Rinse it out at the club, whatever, you know? How much time you save there? So that's why I really only eat one meal a day, but I still need the nutrition. So I make sure that nutrition is combined with my activities. So the low no diet is the remaining balance. At the end of the day, I want to go to bed with an empty stomach on carbohydrates. What does that mean? Because at the end of the day, man, you know, we don't need a lot of, when you're sleeping, your body's going to be burning energy to, to stay alive. It needs to, right? At a very low heart rate. If you jump into bed with a lot of carbohydrates, your body will burn those carbs throughout the night. Why wouldn't it? It's an easier energy source for it to burn. Your body's not in, in it to just, you know, to do something harder than it has to, it'll, it'll burn the carbohydrates. If there aren't carbs there, your body will go and start burning all that stored energy called body fat throughout the night. You wake up in the morning, you're hungry, you know, then you eat something and it's better. Again, like, it, like what you eat, like there's good carbs, right? And then there's bad carbs. What overrides that is a good time and a bad time to have them. When I, when, before I go to the gym, right? You know, there's a time there, so I need energy and eat it fast. You know, the simple carb is the best option for me there because fastest release energy for me. I like that. If I would have oatmeal right before I go to the gym, slow release energy with fiber, longer to digest and everything else, well now I'm gonna probably have some stomach cramps in the gym. That's a bad time for a good carb. Where a simple sugar right before the workout is a good time for a bad carb. What overrides your meals, guys, isn't really what you eat, it's when you eat it. That sponge, when it's dry, you can dump fucking piss on it. Your body, will, not piss, but you know, Twinkies, whatever else, or just, you know, the candy bar. Your body's gonna burn that up right away because it needs it. It needs it, that quick sugar boost, whatever, if the muscle glycogen's done, you know, just to start cranking and rebuilding. The five to six meals a day, again, I challenge you to question everybody, question me. But it's not until you guys try it yourself. The diet that works best for you is the one that's designed for your end state goal and specific to what your daily regime is. And it's always adjusting, it's alive, just like you are, it's perishable. There is no universal fix to it. Where every day you're gonna do the same thing, you know, even though you're gonna do the same thing every single day, but your activities are different. So, you know, here you're gonna be a little bit, you know, not enough energy. Here you got too much, it's body fat. Here's good. So, as this goes, your diet should go with it. What does that mean? It's marrying the activity to the nutritional content. That's winning the war, man. 